Roche Pur in 127. Out of all YSL lipsticks, I think Roche Pur is the most practical ones, and they have, I think, the widest range of colors, and the texture is amazing. They have various finishes. Colors are amazing, and I'm just a huge fan of them. The Voluptes or Pur Shines are pretty. They're like eye candy lipsticks, but they're not really practical to wear every day. Pink Caress. It's lighter than plum, but a bit darker than a regular pink. So if you guys like that color that has that more purple undertone to it, then you guys should consider buying number 9. Because number 9 is a bit darker than number 8. The famous Talia from NYX. This has a lot of brown undertones to it, so it really doesn't fit my face. But this is a very famous color and a lot of people like this color, so if you like that dark brown undertone, with a lot of mauve color to it, this NYX Talia is definitely the one to go for. Orange Salmon is more of a sheer color and barely has any coverage. It's a very, very pretty sheen. It's buildable. The only problem I have with this lipstick is they put coffee scent into it. It just has that awfully like strong coffee scent to it, so I really don't like it. Next one is Curtsy. It's a matte color. I think has been discontinued or whatnot. It's a very natural looking orange color that you could wear every day. If you're keen of coral or orange color like me, then this is definitely a color that you could deal with. It doesn't have that much shimmer in it. It's a luster finish, so it doesn't have that frosty look. Slim Shine is called Missy. And as you can see, it has a bit of coral color to it. I keep on saying it over and over and over again. But it has that awesome sheen to it and it's very wearable in Fanta Dream. This is also a very famous color in Korea. Um, it's a matte color, yet it has that creamy texture to it. There's not a lot of coral mattes out there, so the Fanta Dream is definitely one of those that you should check out if you can. Dior Addict High Shine in 530. This is Spotlight Coral. As the name indicates, it's a high shine. It barely has any coverage. It's more like just adding an orange sheen to your lips. It's very sheer for a lipstick. It does have a lot of pigmentation and it's not that sticky as a lip gloss. Slim Shine lipstick in the high 90s. This was a limited edition and it's a coral color with a lot of red undertones to it. Like all other slim shines, it's very creamy, it has a sheen. It's more of a I want you to look at my lips kind of color. <laughs> Alright, Lancome's debut. And it's a pink corally color with a lot of shimmers to it. But it does look really nice on your lips. Lancome's textures are actually very moisturizing and very good. They last very long. I love Lancome lipsticks. I pretty much like Lancome's everything. Good quality product at a reasonable price. A frost finishing is called Cockatees. And this is one of those legendary lipsticks that no one could put their hands on. It has a lot of pink undertone to it and it has a lot of shimmers and glitters and all that stuff in it. So when you actually put it on your lips, it's not that pretty in my opinion, especially if you have dry lips like me. Because what happens is, it just accentuates your wrinkles and your lips look really dry with a lot of shimmer in it. Next is Indian Pink. This is a pink with a lot of golden and orange undertones to it. So actually when you put it on your lips, it looks more brown and red. It has a lot of golden shimmers to it. So the most comparable product within my lipstick collection would probably be the Lancome Enticing Rose. Lancome's La Rouge Absolu Sun Touch Terra. And I call this the mommy color because my mom likes wearing colors like this. When I first saw this, I was like, Jesus Christ, how am I ever going to put this on my lips? But once again, when you try it on your lips, everything is really different and I really liked it. So I got this at a CCO for $5. Shishado OR418. This is a true orange color. It's just massive orange all over. Pretty bold color that I wouldn't be able to wear unless I'm with another bold person who's wearing bolder makeup. I think um, the comparable color to this is Max Morange. The thing about Shishado lipsticks is they're very creamy, they go on really well. Staying power is amazing, they don't glide around. Number 14, which is Orange Shiver. This is more of the orangey coral colors that I like, but it definitely has a lot of red undertone to it. 
So it's somewhere in between coral and red. Soli Marriage 08. It's very red, but it's a very, very natural color. It's amazing. If you want a natural look and you just want a hint of color to your lips, this is an amazing color. Frost finishing, which is crazy. It does look like a crazy color. It doesn't look like an everyday color. It actually looks very good on your lips. Slight red, but not so much of a bold, bloody red. Next one is a luster finish. It's called Ladybug. This is one of those red colors, but it's not that true red. It just doesn't have that Hollywood retro red kind of color. It's just a very bright red color. Lancome's Plumishious, and it's red, but it's not a true red. It has like a bit of bluish purple undertones to it so it does have a little bit of plummy color to it and it's not bloody red. 31, I think I used it in one of my Halloween tutorials. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Glides on very almost perfectly. So what you would need actually is something like a lip brush like this to put a little bit on and maneuver it around on your lips or else if you just try to use the lipstick it's pretty much going to get all over your face because just a little bit gets on your skin very well and it's very pigmented. Cherry Aid. This is kind of like Lancome's Plumishious color. It has a plum undertone to it so it's not truly like retro red and <clears throat> it's pretty sheer. It doesn't give you full coverage. It has a really strong coffee smell to it so I'm not really fond of the smell. NYX's Electra. And it is one of those true red colors. As you can see on the swatch, it's just an amazing red color. The red actually looks pretty dark on what the bottle thingy has, but when you put it on your lips, it's like snow white red. Red color and it's Love Collection Rouge Pershine number 96. And like the collection, this thing is actually not gold but silver. It's one of those true, true reds, and I really love this color, so I'm not using it that much because I like to hold on to things a lot. Yeah, that was 73 swatches and me babbling about them. Thanks for watching this video and I hope this will help any of you guys who needed some reference or swatches of particular lipsticks or shades or whatnot. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!